<laughs> today I want to show you we have a broody hen. I just pulled her off the nest to eat and drink a little bit. I do this once in the morning and once at night so she gets a few minutes to eat and drink and dust bathe and go to the bathroom. She does have access to all of those things in here. So she's got food, she's got water, she's got a spot to dust, dust bathe. Um, it's been really hot, so I've been keeping that window open and this open all day. So she gets a nice breeze through there. And this is actually shaded most of the day. They have the shade from this, they have the shade from the trees, shade from the barn. So very small. <laughs> The morning other chickens a very small amount of time but this is in full sun so i think that definitely helps because it's been in the 90s which is whew, hot this is delilah she is a one-year-old cochin hen she is a blue cochin she went broody about three weeks ago i let her sit for a week in the other Coop. Well, I didn't let her sit. I was trying to break her of it for about a week to see if she would break. You're so broody. <laughs> and she would not break. So I thought, okay, I don't need more chickens. This is not good timing with all the other things we have going on here. But if you refuse to give it up, I will give you some eggs. So that's what I've done. I picked out 12 random eggs from my chickens. I did not grab any Easter egg or eggs because I have the Easter eggers specifically for the egg color. So getting a baby from them doesn't interest me. Obviously you can't tell if they're fertile or not when you're picking random eggs. I do have a pretty good fertility rate when hatching. Excuse the helicopter going overhead. Right. <laughs> Anyways, I've noticed like when I'm cooking eggs and cracking them for breakfast, I do have about an 80% fertility rate. So Mr. Darcy has been doing pretty good on his end of the job. I have candled these and I do think that only five of the 12 are developing. So maybe I just was unlucky with the ones that I picked and I picked less that were fertilized or maybe there was something wrong with some of them and they just would not develop so I have fingers crossed that hopefully all five of those will hatch we'll see I have a week and a day left before they're due I think it takes about 21 days for eggs to hatch tomorrow we will be on 14 days so Whole another week to go. Good girl, Delilah. In the beginning, she was so set, and I think she kind of is now, that she would not get off of her eggs at all. She's just sitting on them all day. <laughs> you don't have any babies to protect right now, you goof. But... She wouldn't get off the nest to eat or drink or do anything, so I had to make sure that I was pulling her off. And then I have that little orange feeder bowl in there because I would bring her, especially water when it's hotter like this, multiple times a day, I bring her water directly onto the nest so that she doesn't even have to leave it and that I know she's staying hydrated. And I make sure, switch out the water every day so it's nice fresh water, I have apple cider vinegar in it. She's been getting their normal chicken food with some oyster shells and I've been cooking an egg for her about every other day and bringing her an egg from in the house because those are such good for them. And the hens don't really take good care of themselves when they're broody. They're more focused on babies than eating or drinking or doing all the things that they need to be doing to take care of themselves. So yeah, right? Good girl. So I'm just, this is my first broody hen. Obviously she's only a year old, so this is her first time being broody. So we are learning together as we go and kind of having a lot of teamwork. And I have, have high hopes that she will be able to hatch those out. If not, I will find babies for her because I'm not going to make her sit there for three weeks and not have babies. She growled at me. <laughs> this is the poop of a broody hen, if you've never seen it. Their broody hen poop is huge because they only poop about once or twice a day instead of all day long. <laughs> so it's just 
it's a big giant really smelly one and you can smell it from far away when it happens you know it's done she refuses to go to the bathroom in the broody box which is part of the reason i have been forcing her out twice a day because she cannot not go to the bathroom but that is what's going on here i will keep you guys updated i guess in little video clips and hopefully in a week we will have some babies hatching I forget I do want to mention probably sometime over the next week here I'm gonna start introducing chick food into her diet just because the chicks are gonna eat chick food obviously and I don't want to do a hard switch to her for her from you know their regular layer feed to chick feed so she'll start getting it mixed in so that when the baby oh there goes the big broody poop you probably didn't see it through the screen but it happened <laughs> um, that way it doesn't upset her system too much to switch over like that but otherwise she's doing good hey, it is about 8 a.m. in the morning I just brought her out for her drinks this is day 21 hatching day so I took a little peek at the eggs I'm not hearing any peeping I don't know if I'm just not out here enough or I'm not quiet enough but there's a little Mark there, and there's a little mark there, and over here on this egg, there's a little mark of pipping of them trying to hatch. I don't see anybody wiggling. I don't know. Maybe they're resting right now. I'm a nervous mom. Or am I the grandma? You're the mom. Does that make me the grandma or am I an aunt? To be determined, I guess. <laughs> oh, Mr. Darcy's saying good morning to you. He comes over every morning and says hi. You ready to be a daddy, Mr. Darcy? <laughs> You've done a good job, Mama. So she'll go out and eat some food and drink. Stretch, dust bathe, go to the bathroom, all of the above, and then she'll make her way back in here. And I'm just gonna pretty much be hands off. I don't want to disturb her, I don't want to disturb the eggs. I might, you know, peek in in four or five hours, see if I see any little butts. Otherwise, that's it. Let them do their thing. I gotta let nature kind of take its course here. There's Mama Hen. Two little babies. Good job, Mama. Good job. Good job, Mama. Okay, it's the next morning. We have thunderstorms rolling in. But this little guy just made a recent entrance. This little guy's new. How cute. Everybody hatched. We have all five babies. Two, two yellowish white ones and three black ones by the looks. So precious. I'm gonna take these eggshells out. Make sure mama gets a little bit to drink here. I don't think she's really left them at all. <laughs> chill out and I'm gonna go inside before the thunderstorm starts yay um, if you guys want to follow along and get updates on the chicks just subscribe to my page if you haven't I'm gonna make sure to do more videos and show how these guys are growing oh my goodness it's so cute I can't take it <laughs> I'm in love 